Ladies and gentlemen, uh, pure chaos has erupted in Stradman's Bugatti Veyron auction on eBay. I'm not sure what to make of what's going on. Yesterday we did a video talking about how fast the price uh, of the auction had gone up to already hitting 1.1 million in just about 24 hours. But since that video yesterday evening, uh, things have gone completely off the rails in so many ways, uh, it's hard to even know where to begin. Good evening guys, welcome to Life Apollos. Happy to have you here. All right, here's the deal for today's episode, guys. We're going to talk first about the Stradman Bugatti Veyron auction on eBay because there is an enormous amount to talk about. Then after that, we're going to hit the rest of our stories per usual. Buckle up, Beard Nation. Today is going to be absolutely insane. All right, before we get to the craziest stuff about the auction, uh, let's get the non-crazy stuff out of the way first. And that actually happens to be Daily Driven Exotics video earlier this morning. It was entitled Buying Stradman's eBay Bugatti Veyron for one something million dollars. Obviously, when everyone saw that particular title, they figured Daily Driven Exotics had bought Stradman's Bugatti Veyron, or at least put in a big offer, but it turns out Daily Driven Exotics couldn't even get an official bid out because they hit some sort of error that stopped them from doing so. From our understanding, that particular error message they got it just means you have to contact eBay to get your bidding limit removed, and then you can actually make the bid you want. So from our understanding, that particular error message uh, ended the Daily Driven Exotics bid for the Stradman Bugatti Veyron. They didn't pursue it any further from what we could tell. So then things get significantly crazier now that we have that out of the way. As of right now, guys, there is a bidding war going on between two different users, and the price has me thinking that basically the entire thing might be fake in terms of who's bidding on the car. So out of nowhere this afternoon, the price ended up skyrocketing to over $1.3 million, very close to the buy it now price. So here's where things get really chaotic, guys, and why we think it's probably fake at this point. So the top bid right now, only as an hour ago, is 1.349509. That's the top bid right now. So why doesn't that make sense? Uh, the buy it now price, which as far as I understand, if you buy it now, it ends the auction immediately and you get the car, is $1.35 million. So essentially, if you were gonna bid 1.349509, why wouldn't you just buy it now immediately and sort of save yourself the hassle for an extra $400 and guarantee that you win the bid? It doesn't make any sense. Another part that doesn't make a lot of sense, guys, the top three accounts that are bidding at this particular level are all going in $100 increments after 1.349, uh, just furthering the weirdness of what's happening right now. Additionally, all of those accounts have almost no feedback score on eBay whatsoever, meaning they haven't really bought or sold any items at all, which means they're probably not going to be real. What's interesting though, guys, if you look back at the bidding history over the last 24 hours, the last reputable bidder who had 184 transactions for their feedback score did bid $1.1 million. That looks to be much more legitimate as a possibility back at 1.1. At this point, guys, uh, unless I'm way off off the mark here in terms of what I'm seeing. Uh, it looks like the entire bidding process is going to be poisoned by some people that have no real intention of buying the Bugatti Veyron. Otherwise, they'd hit that buy it now price and they wouldn't be messing around at $1.349,500 million. It's a, it's a crazy thing and it's really unfortunate considering it looks like there were some serious bidders in that list. Oh, did you think the chaos was going to be done? Uh, it's not. Remember how Stradman did not release what the reserve price was going to be for his eBay Bugatti Veyron auction. Uh, we had no idea what it was going to be. The reserve price would have meant if the particular bids reached a certain level, that's the lowest that he was going to sell it on. I thought it was going to be at 1.1 million, and that would mean that if you bid over 1.1 million, you were guaranteed to get the car as long as you were the top bidder. But as of right now, guys, uh, given that eBay cannot distinguish fake and real sellers at this particular point, and the top bid right now is $1.349 million and the reserve still hasn't been met, 
That would mean that Stradman probably set the reserve at like a penny under $1.35 million. So I don't know what to make of it, guys. Uh, it looks like uh, potentially fake bidders have completely poisoned the eBay auction uh, that Stradman was trying to do with, with his Bugatti Veyron. There were potentially some options to combat this. Sometimes when a top eBay bidder doesn't pay, there's a second chance offer you can shoot to the person who bid right underneath the original top offer. I don't know if that's gonna apply here because the last real offer was probably in the $1.1 million range. I suppose you could reach out directly to the seller after the eBay auction ends if he wanted to sell at $1.1 million. I don't know guys, it's completely crazy. I've been following it all day guys. The big jumps, the fake offers potentially. Hard to know what to make of it, but it seems like a giant bummer. Unless somebody pulls out a real offer out of nowhere, it's a real bummer for Stradman because it doesn't look like it's gonna go through at all at this point. Leave your comments in the comment section below, guys, and on to our next story, which is not anywhere near as crazy as this, but we're gonna keep on trucking. Next up, guys, let's talk about Protective Film Solutions' latest video. Uh, you guys have probably heard of Protective Film Solutions before. They've made appearances in a number of super crazy uh, automotive YouTuber vlogs. It's pretty cool to see them go out and do their own vlogging, guys. They constantly have incredible hypercars, supercars all over the place in their mass massive shop. Uh, their latest video, fantastic guys, called Super Cars at Sunset, uh, basically displays all the craziest stuff they continually have going on. I want to see a lot more from Protective Film Solutions moving forward. Make sure to go check it out, guys. Hypercar access that is very rarely seen in automotive YouTube, period. Oh, kind of side note here before I jump onto our next story, guys. We actually had the chance to meet a lot of the team, including the owner, Ryan, when we were out on Longtail Rally. A bunch of the people uh, accompanied us through the entirety of Longtail rally to some of the nicest people that I have met in the automotive community for a long time and that's I think pretty rare at that level. Next up guys I have some more hypercar action for you. This one from OB Prestige Auto unveiling my new Pagani Roadster BC Supernova. When I think of hypercar dealerships guys I think of OB Prestige Auto a lot of the time. They have not just hypercars but some of the craziest spec hypercars ever. I want to say that Post Malone bought his Bugatti Chiron from OB Prestige Auto. Uh, don't kill me in the comments if that's not correct, but I feel like I remember watching that video a while back. The new Pagani is absolutely flawless, well worth your time if you want some Pagani in your daily consumption of automotive YouTube videos. Gotta make sure I mention Tall Guy Car Reviews, guys. Huge video for him. Uh, gifting my fiance with a brand new 2021 Lamborghini Urus, uh, taking delivery after one year wait. Very, very cool thing, guys. This was actually announced a long time ago, as the title suggests, but incredible moment and the Lamborghini Urus they picked out is just stunning. A monster congratulations to the Tall Guy Car Reviews team and the fiance. It's a crazy, crazy video and a very beautiful one at that. Go check it out, guys. Someone we have not talked about in a little while, guys, Goon Squad. Finally getting back to more car builds. They've been doing a Raptor build, but now they just introduced a crazier build uh, that a lot of people are pumped about. It's called Rebuilding a Wrecked 1967 Chevrolet Camaro SS. Very cool to see them start doing classic builds, guys. Guys, up until now, pretty much everything has been within like the last 15 to 20 years. We're going way back to the 1960s now for their latest build. I think it's an incredibly smart move. It'll get a lot of people that don't normally watch their channel to jump in, view, and subscribe. Go check it out. Let me know if you guys are still watching Goon Squad or if you stopped watching them during their big house build. Let me know in the comments below. Next up, guys, I have a video from the Triple F Collection that feels kind of like a one-two punch in terms of awesomeness. It's called Behind the Scenes with Stradman, and it starts off with something very beautiful. I'll let you see that for yourself, but it really shows what Stradman is like when he's not doing vlogging, and it feels a lot more different than you would normally expect. Obviously, there's still a big love of cars there, uh, but just go watch the video, guys. It's the same thing when watching behind the scenes of Doug DeMiro they did a couple weeks ago. Uh, it feels very interesting to see people like Doug DeMiro and Stradman when they're not doing their own material. It feels much more laid back in a lot of ways. Go check it out, guys. Great video from the Triple F Collection. Fantastic response from the community, too. And one crazy video to throw in there from Engineering Explained, guys. The title says it all. No, synthetic fuels will not replace electric cars. Uh, leave it to Engineering Explained to go into this particular topic in great depth. Uh, I've often talked about Engineering Explained as a channel that just lets me learn so many things about the automotive world. There are not too many channels like this. I throw like Donut Media in there, Engineering Explained, uh, Doug DeMiro for sort of like learning about cars. Uh, but if you want to learn about
about synthetic fuels and sort of its relationship to electric vehicles, this is gonna be a great video for you and honestly might get you caught up to speed in a way that you were not expecting. And folks, I think that's all I've got for you guys today. We're gonna try to keep this video short and sweet for the most part. Um, this was a very interesting last couple of days. I feel like we've been just knocking them out left and right. I feel like we're incredibly in tune with what's going on in the automotive world. It's just fun to be a part of, guys. Covering some of this auction stuff has been really cool. I mean, when is the last time a, an automotive YouTuber auctioned their hypercar off on eBay of all places? Totally unrelated note, guys. I have a vlog coming about my next supercar in the next couple of days. I'll probably release it sometime on Saturday or Friday, somewhere around there. Megan is upstairs editing the video right now. I might shock some of you guys what I'm thinking about doing. Maybe long-term viewers of the channel might know what I'm looking at already. Uh, it's a very exciting time. I just gotta make sure I make the right move going forward. It's a pretty crazy time for used cars. Oh, additionally, guys, another side note here. Uh, we are gonna start posting on the General Apollo's channel again very soon. I've just been focused super hard on the automotive news, trying to crank out one to two videos a day, and that means the General Apollo's channel has not had as much on it, but I've got some really exciting things planned for that. We might be releasing uh, sort of video game stuff on the General Apollo's channel too. It's sort of gonna be a catch-all for everything I wanna do that's not connected to cars. Hopefully you guys like it. If you don't, that's okay too. We're gonna be experimenting with a lot of interesting things. Whew, okay, crazy episode. Thanks for watching. Sub to the channel if you want up to the minute automotive and supercar community news, and that's all I got for you guys. Make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy out there. Bye.